In this video, I'll explain how to convert a logical to a dummy vector using the R programming language. In the video, I will show you two examples. And in the first example, I will explain how to convert a logical to a dummy using the S numeric function. And in the second example, I will show you how to convert a logical converted S character to a dummy vector in R. Let's do that. So in the first example, I will convert a logical vector to a dummy vector using the S numeric function. And we can start this example by creating an example vector containing logical values, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called x1. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a logical vector consisting of six logical values. And some of these logical values are true and some of the logical values are false. So let's assume that we want to convert this logical vector to a dummy vector containing the value one in case our logical value is true and containing the value zero in case our logical value is false. Then we can apply the S numeric function as you can see in line five of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying the S numeric function to our logical vector. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new vector object, which is called X1 dummy. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called X1 dummy. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have converted our logical vector to a numeric vector consisting of ones and zeros. Now in the next example, I want to show you how to convert a logical vector containing character strings to a dummy vector. And for this, we also need to create some example data as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object appears, which is called X2. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created another vector consisting of the values true and false. However, based on the quotation marks, you can see that this time our vector is consisting of character strings. We can also check that by running the class function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And as you can see, after running this line of code, we have created a character vector instead of a vector of real logical values. Now, in order to convert this vector of character strings to a vector consisting of real logical values, we can use the S logical function, as you can see in line 13 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another data object appears at the top right, which is called X2 logical. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see that our vector is returned without quotes. And we can also check the class of this updated vector by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that the class of our updated vector is the logical class. So at this point, we are basically at the same point as in the beginning of example one. So now we have a vector consisting of logical values. And in the next step in line 18 of the code, we can apply the S numeric function as we already did in the first example to convert our vector of logical values to a dummy vector. So if you run line 18 of the code, another data object, which is called X2 dummy is appearing at the top right. And if you print this vector to the RStudio console, you can see that we have converted our original vector containing character strings to a dummy vector in R. So in this video, I have explained how to convert a logical vector to a dummy vector using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.